Hi students, in this video, we are going to see the configuration of RIP version 1 using Packet Tracer. So let us use this topology for demonstrating the RIP version 1 working. So now if you see, there are five networks. So network 1 with 192.161.0, network 2 with 192.162.0, network 3 with 192.163.0, and network 4 with 192.168.4.0 and network 5 with 192.168.5.0. So in this network, let's first do the configuration of all the IP configuration of all the computers. So starting from PC0, let's open the PC window, go to the desktop IP configuration and give 192.168.1.1. And the default gateway, let us give it as 1.1. .1. So let us close it. Now it will be saved. Similarly, let's come to PZ1, desktop, IP configuration, 192.168.1.3. And the default gateway is 1.1. So network 2 does not have any PC. So let us switch to network 3. So as we come to network 3, let us click this PC and go to the desktop IP configuration and the IP address here I've given is 3.2 so we'll give here 192.168.3.2 192.168.3.1 so let us close it similarly let's come to this PC go to desktop IP configuration 192.168.3.3 192.168.3.3 so the configuration of PCs in the network 3 is done. So network 4 does not have any PC. So we'll come to network 5. So let's go to this PC, desktop, IP configuration, 192.168.5.2, 192.168.5.1. So let us close this PC2. Coming on to PC3, desktop, IP configuration, 192.168.5.3. So you can press a tab. The mask is displayed and the gateway is 192.168.5.1. So now we have completed the IP configuration of all the computers. We'll do the IP configuration of routers. So in this topology, as we see, we have router 0 with two ports and router 2 with three ports and router 1 with two ports. So first, let us start with router 0. So I'll click router 0. We'll come to the CLI. So it will ask whether you want to enter the initial configuration mode. Let's type no and enable EN and then config T. So the first interface that I wish to configure is this interface. So you have to type the name of this interface. For me, the name is FA0 slash 0. So I'll type int FA0 slash 0. And the command to do the configuration, IP configuration is IP address. So the default gateway address is already we have given as 192.168.1.1 and 255 mask is 255.255.255.0. So we'll give no shut in order to put the port on. So you will see that the port is on. And this interface serial 2 slash 0, I've given the IP as 192.162.1. So we'll give that. I'll come to interface serial 2 slash 0. So first let us give the IP address 192.168.2.1, 255.255.255.0. And there is a clock symbol. So we have to give the clock rate. So clock rate, the command is CL rate, 64,000. We'll give the default clock rate for all our packet tracer experiments is 64,000. So I'll give a no shut. So now... Uh, you could see that the IP configuration of router 0 is done. So now we'll come to router 1. So router 1 also has two interface here FA0 slash 0 uh, for my topology and serial 2 slash 0 for my topology. So I have given 5.1 for 0 slash 0 and 4.1 for 2 slash 0. So let me just go to the CLI and initial configuration no and EN config T. So interface FA0 slash 0. So the IP that is given to the interface is 192.168.5.1. 192.168.5.1. 192.168.5.1. 192.168.5.1. 192.168.5.1. 192.168.5.1. 192.168.5.1. 192.168.5.1. 192.168.5.1. 192.168.5.1.
255.255.255.0 and no shut issue and no shut similarly to the other side it is serial 2/0 with no clock symbol so we will give in serial 2/0 and the ip that i have assigned is 192.168.4.1 so i'll give ip address 192.168.4.1 255.255.255.0 and issue a no shut to put the port on. So the IP configuration of router 1 is also done. So now we will do the IP configuration of router 2. So in router 2 we understand that there are uh, ports FA0 slash 0 and also we have ports serial. So to understand this port um, we have port serial 3 slash 0 and here also it is 3 slash 0. So now, yes, so we'll give the IP address. So let me go to the CLI. No, EN, config T. So int FA0 slash 0, IP address 192.168. Um, it is three networks, so 3.1 and the mask is 255.255.255.0 and no shut, right? So now we'll give the IP configuration for the other end. So this interface for me is in serial 3 slash 0 for which I have given 4.2 and this one is in serial 2 slash 0, which is 2.2. So let me give that as well. So I'll go to the... command prompt and here I'll give int serial 3 slash 0. So the IP address that is given to 3 slash 0 is 4.2. So IP address 192.168.4.2 mask 255.255.255.0. There is a clock symbol. So I'll give a clock rate of 64000 and no shut. So for me, this interface is 3 slash 0 with a clock symbol. So I have given. So you could see that as these both interfaces are turned up, their symbol is also high. So now we'll come to the other one. That is 2.2. I should give this interface with 2.2. Let me come here to this router. Int serial 2 slash 0. IP address 192.168.2.2. 255.255.255.0 then give a no shut. So all the interfaces are up. You could see in this topology now, initially there are few orange lights and also few red lights glowing on, but now everything was made green. Now let us examine the routing table of the router. Okay, so to examine the routing table, I can even use this inspect symbol. I'll click the inspect symbol. I'll keep it here and say routing table. So when I examine the routing table, I could understand that this router is connected to 1.0 and 2.0. So only the directly connected network, that is C with the symbol C. C means it is directly connected network. So only the directly connected network and their corresponding ports are displayed in the routing table. Similarly, let us examine the routing table for router one. There is one more method to examine the routing table. So we'll come to the privilege execution mode. I'll give an exit and I'll come to the privilege execution mode. The command is show IP root. The command is show IP root. Now, by examining show IP root in router one, I can understand that it is connected to 4.1 and 5, sorry, 4.0 and 5.0 network, which is directly connected. So you could understand that it is five network and four network, which is connected to router one. So initially, after doing all the configuration, we understood that the router study to which network it is connected, or it was able to update the directly connected network in the routing table. Now, in order to make this network completely reachable, we have to configure a routing protocol. So for example, suppose I want to send a packet from 1.2 to 5.3, I should tell this router how to reach 5.3. So that route, that is that functionality is done by means of a routing protocol. So here we are going to do the configuration of routing information protocol version one. So routing information protocol is a distance vector routing protocol and the version one supports the class full addressing, right? So now we will see how to configure the version one in the routers. 
So the only information that we need is what are all the directly connected networks. So let me come to router zero. I'll come to the exit. So in the, uh, in the configuration mode, I'll say, Here we'll give router rep. The command that we have to give is then we should give the directly connected network. So 192.168.1.0. And the next network that was connected is 2.0. So these are the two networks connected to router 0. So I'll give an exit and I should save the configurations. So I am saving the configuration by issuing the right command. Similarly, come on, coming on to the router 1. Let me check here. I'll go to the configuration mode by giving conf t and I'll give router rip and I'll give network 192.168.4.0 and I'll give 192.168.5.0. So again, we can give an exit, exit and say I'm going to save it. Similarly, coming on to this, it is connected to 2, 3, and 4. So we'll give uh, here, I'll give an uh, exit. So I'll give router rib network 192.168.2.0, then 3.0, and then 4.0. Now we have completed all the configuration. Right, so we'll check the routing table. Let me inspect the routing table of router zero. So I could see that all the entries are added. One, two, three, four, five. So and three, four, five are learned using the RIP routing protocol. R means RIP routing protocol. It says that suppose I want to go to the 5.0, I have to give my packet to 2.2. Okay, so this router has learned the path in a way that so I uh, to go to phi dot network, any packet that is destination for phi dot network, I should give my packet to 2.2, .2, which is connected to the serial interface 2 slash 0. Okay, so my immediate serial interface is 2 slash 0. And 120 slash 2 is uh, 120, it says that it is the administrative distance. So every routing protocol has an administrative distance. So you see here the administrative distance is 1. So uh, it is an administrative distance that it says, okay. And uh, the two is the metric. So here RIP uses the hop count as a metric. So you see the metric to reach three, four is one, one, and to five is two. It means that suppose I want to reach three, it's enough that from this router I jump once, I'll be able to reach three and four. That is called hop count. So, but if suppose I want to reach five, I should jump one, Two. So the hop is 2. So in the routing table, this is the next hop IP address and this is the administrative distance for RIP is 120 and 2 is the hop count which is a metric used by RIP to route its packet. So this is how you have to do the configuration of RIP version 1.